So I got this question the other day about Font Awesome and animations. Okay, uh, it's about this uh, centre link. This chap sent a link to this here, which is GitHub um, Font Awesome, um, which is great. But I'm going to go to Font Awesome's main site to do this. So all these here uh, done. Basically, what Font Awesome is for those that don't know is just fonts that's quite fancy things like bells email wrenches spinners uh, aeroplanes everything that you want really um but all these are done in css3 the animations anyway so go to font awesome and i'll put this in the link okay so you see this when you when you first go to font awesome this is what you say okay so it says get more with pro i think pro is quite expensive just use the free start using the free one okay so if you go to this and <clears throat> you see this straight away okay this link here so we copy this so Control c and go into bootstrap studio okay so the question was how to use this in bootstrap studio so we just put in a div um normally the way to go was something like um this would be to create a new css style it doesn't work that way so we just carry something like a div you can use whatever you want so just pop that div in there we go to um i'll tell you what we'll do first we'll go to settings at the top and under the head content okay and we'll put this we'll just control v okay and that is the link to Font Awesome. Okay, so there's save that. All right. So if we go back to Font Awesome and we go to the icons page, and uh, then you'll see lots of these icon stuff and that, you know, um, when it loads. Okay, so I think these in the darker colors here, I think these are um, ones that you can use uh, on a free account okay the others you would have to pay for them so what uh, here um it's one or two we'll go for something like apple okay so we just click the apple and of course this is uh apple's uh logo okay so it has thing um it has what you click here okay so it all starts with an um, an icon tag, which is an I. It's just I and just basically that. Okay, so we'll copy that, all right? Go back into Bootstrap Studio. And another div is, okay, we go to Convert to HTML, Custom Code, Edit Code. And in between this div here, all right, I'll just zoom that in. All right, so just pop that down a bit and we'll get to and control the V again. All right, so we just apply that. All right, SVG for when you want an icon. Um, okay, we'll come out of that. I don't know what I've downloaded there, but okay, so apply that again. And we go to preview. Open in edge. Um, mm, and that was not there. Oh, it is, yeah. I thought it wasn't there for a minute. There it is, there. Okay, right there. This may not show up in the actual Bootstrap Studio Preview. Okay. Um, okay, so there you go. There. So that's basically where it is okay so now you can what you can do i'm not going into the whole css3 um you know doing all these fancy icons because it could be on all day with them but i'm just going to give you the basics of what you can do with this so when this is just uh well what we'll do is we just um uh, go fa which stands for font awesome and then we just like put a dash and then two times okay so apply that 
all right and there you go so what that what's happened there is that's gone larger okay so we'll do maybe four times and we'll go there apply that's applied okay so now it's quite big you can change the color and, and everything on here so we'll just do a little um a little animation okay fa so again font awesome dash and we put spin okay so we go apply and there we go so there you see the the spin of that uh, that's basically a, a font awesome animation there's all sorts you can do with this i kind of really call this in a video because i haven't really got that much time but if you want to get back on a specific animation and things like that because you have to use keyframes and and stuff like that which is uh just uh, as i say i don't really have the time at the minute but anyway that's just to get you going really so something else if you do just do which control c and control v okay so that's for apple all right um but what if we wanted something i'll put a wrench in there you go there's a wrench even on the preview there so what we have now is a wrench um under that one okay the apple logo so another thing you can do with this is i'll just go into the so you can see the code you can do something like rotate i can't spell it today. rotate and then another dash and say something like 90 which is 90 degrees okay we'll come out of there and apply that again so well that refreshes there you go so the spot the wrench has stopped spinning um so it's at what uh what i say 90 degrees yeah 90 degrees and so much uh else you can do with this stuff and what else can we put put something like a bell and again apply and then you, you've even seen it on there so that's at 90 um so yeah so i hope you've learned something on this and uh yeah keep asking questions about font awesome because it is uh yeah it's pretty awesome okay so again thanks for watching thanks for listening